What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So today in this quick video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate the uh, new version of FC365 for more Manager X. So in this new version I released, I got a couple of bug fixes where uh, there have been bug fixes that you reported and also a new important feature for the iCloud bypassing. So at first the application is now available. You can go ahead and download it over the uh, internet on the, uh, the iPhone wiki, the link is in the description and you're going to see this page and you'll have it right here, the version 28. Well, it's going to be um, right here when you're going to check it. Right, so um, let's, let's just go uh, ahead and see what's the new feature I'm talking about. Of course, if you want to see the modifications, you can go ahead here on this page, but the important thing is a new tool called Build Lilo App. You probably know that uh, on the iCloud Bypass lately, we've been using an application that I built called Lilo or FC365 uh, Lilo. The application basically verifies by injecting a payload, it verifies if the uh, uh, iCloud bypass was correctly made and ensures that it's stable. So you need to use this application when you bypass, but it was only available on a Mac for those who can build with Xcode. Now it's available to just build it right from the application and the application itself can build it directly to the desktop. And in order to build it, it uses a um, pseudo shell uh, created especially for it, based on Carmen. I'm going to show you what happens if I click Build Lilo App. All right, it will start the, um, the shell, it will connect to the uh, repo URL and will create the file right away. So yeah, there we go. So as you can see, the uh, Lilo application file was generated right here. I really hope you like the um, this interface. You can close the installer right away and you got your IPA application, which is available right here. And you can install after that using CDI Impactor. You have more in the tutorials. Now, if you don't know how to use Lilo or if you don't have any idea what is it all about, you can go ahead here on my channel, make sure it's the original one that's verified. Go to the videos and then you simply need to navigate in here. The first videos are the uh, most relevant. So at first, this one was first, uh, firstly introduced in the iPhone 6 iCloud bypass video that if you missed was right here a week ago. And here we used Lilo for the first time. This tutorial, by the way, is on Windows, so you can go ahead and follow it. Uh, and also if you want to um, use it on iPhone 5s, then you can follow this one and use it on iOS as well if you want to check. So there's no iDevice limit, but keep in mind that the, the, um, the application is configured to be a 64-bit app. So um, also if you want to understand how you can uh, patch the uh, boot chain or how you can create your own payloads or exploits, I invite you to go to my playlist called iOS Reverse Engineering. So iOS Reverse Engineering in general means um, hacking into iOS, messing with it, creating exploits, creating a lot of things. And I'm going to show you there is a playlist called iOS Reverse Engineering for Beginners that you should go ahead and watch. It contains nine videos for the moment in which I teach you how to jailbreak, how, how jailbreak works, how exploits works, how kernel works, how to patch jailbreak detection, so basically hacking into an application, how to patch setup the app for iCloud Bypass directly onto the phone, not with custom-made firmware, directly to the phone, how to modify a running application using script, how to create, uh, sorry, how to decrypt a RAM disk and extract a SAR on um, OS X, how to decompress, disassemble the kernel, and how iOS sandbox file types frameworks, permissions, APIs, and so on work. So pretty, pretty straightforward. If you want, you can go ahead and watch it. It's in the description. But about the firmware manager, as I said, it's now updated. And on the uh, bugs part, I fixed a couple of bugs on the application not being able to run on iOS 10. So you can go ahead and take it. Yeah, so tell me in the comment section down below what you think about these new improvements and do not forget to tell me also in the comment section what you also want to see next on the firmware manager or on the, on the channel. Peace out.